Ladakh with extremes of temperature and with less than 100 mm of rainfall annually is a cold desert mountainous region nestled at the west end of the great Himalayas with the main town Leh situated at 11,500 feet above sea level. The unique topography, the richness of its culture, the humility and the harmony of its dwellers had tempted many great travelers and conquerors in the past and has become the safest heaven for thousands of tourists in today's world of strifes. It is imperative to realize that ancient traditions cannot be shoved off in the name of modern development in the dark, lest the fragility of its ecosystem cannot be taken care of. One cannot restrain from applauding our ancestors for their techniques and timings in method of farming, which was the only reason why the inhabitants of such a hostile terrain were self-sufficient in the past and survived all odds. Though the great Indus River travels through Ladakh, but 85% of farming in Ladakh depends on the glacier melt water from the snowy gigantic mountains. The sowing period in Ladakh extends from April to May and as dry cultivation is not effective, timely arrival of meltdown water from the glaciers is crucial. One cannot spare a day to be late in sowing season. As the saying goes, a day in spring is equal to a week in autumn. During the last two decades, the influences of global warming have made the snow line gone up by 100 meters and the glaciers have receded back to their original places and thus the distances for the glacier melt water to reach the farming land have lengthened and thereby delaying the sowing time and affecting the yield of every crop and sometimes causing droughts. In such situations, while everyone seemed to be hopeless, one man, a retired civil engineer, has been burning his midnight oil, experimenting on his innovation of artificial glacier to mitigate the influences of the climate change on his people in Ladakh. He is Mr. Tsewang Norfil, who had joined Lay Nutrition Project in 1994, the oldest NGO serving the inhabitants of rural Ladakh since 1978. Norfolk's artificial glacier is based on a simple principle of channeling the runoff water from the mountain in the winter months under minus 15 to 20 degrees Celsius and scattering it on the north-facing shady slopes by controlling the pace and constructing ice-retaining stone walls. The artificial glaciers are constructed at different levels between the village and the natural glacier. The mild temperature of the early springtime can trigger the meltdown from the artificial glaciers at the lower level, providing timely water for sowing seeds, and the ones on the higher level act as a huge water reservoir in the form of ice and collectively recharge the underground water level and thereby 
increasing the discharges in the streams and springs during summer time. Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, Rognanzin, Lay Nutrition Project, Youth Sumenanga, Artificial Galatian Water Conservation, Chargi, Ma Transport and Yampo, Talo, Katum Sonle, Kaskar Nata, Youth Sumenanga, is Science and Technology, Rognanzin, Sabuna Nanga, the Artificial Galatian. Nang yang karu doa ngata water conservation zinjik macam ni, sikit. Sakit semua mampu abad caca se. Tapi cincar la tega nang mah pantos yang caca se gila revival. The method seems very simple, but the amount of efforts needed to record the consistency in the flow of runoff water. And identifying the feasibility involves knee-breaking walks up the mountains, and sometimes animals like zo and horses are used for riding. Purchasing and shifting materials like cement and steel to higher valleys, and engaging laborers. To support the voluntary labors from the villages, need funding, without which the purpose cannot be achieved. In 2009, the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, approved three projects to lay nutrition project to implement the work of making artificial glaciers in the villages of Nang and Sabu and a water harvesting reservoir in Karu. The work at all the three places began with great enthusiasm, but the flash flood of 5th August in 2010 did considerable damage to the then undergoing projects. The Department of Science and Technology has been kind enough to extend the period of completion by six months and also sanctioned an additional fund to compensate the damages. In July 2011, a team headed by Dr. Vinita Sharma from the Department of Science and Technology paid a visit to assess the then undergoing work on the three projects and was well satisfied. Then a khas karniyane, alu ya sharma uzar, then doksum kona bad niyane ma karniyane. Dasa daksa niyane zig na daksa kona mangcha alu tapdu ale, alu chie tap niyane doksa na. I dasa artificial jelly shoes jese kona tu se kat chu tap chu jese niyane. Kalte kona sharma na alu tap niyane na kabe nas nas tu sa koi chiga wo niyane, yong yong stang bo shal tap chu kona ma yong tu ale. Jadi stop stop tu kalau cung cung ni jauh spin tu cang tu mesti ke last time juga lah. Tapi dasar ngaji science and technology ni asal main funding pun dasar ngaji science and technology nak ni. Science and technology funding ni jadi dasar ngaji ngaji artificial pun pura complete jadi dasar ngaji muka tu kahade. Tapi ni yang sukses nak dasar ni ni tenar tenar yang katil ni dasar ni ni semua mangsa kau ni tak alu mangsa tap seni ni dasar stom tu kau ni zaman ni jadi tu ina artificial jelly shape katil ni nak kahade. चीज़ है ना कौन है स्पीड गंतों को ने चुवो क्या था थप्पड़ जैसे थे कौन है आलू क्या था जैसे बात नहीं आते ना ताना तो क्या नहीं माने लो बंच इच्छा डाले ताकि कुछ हमारे दांते यंग साहू समो पलंजी जोड़ते ना ओ कांग्रेस में कहाँ नोस पहले चेते तालों निसुम जिंग मासों साले कांग्रेस म Thank you.
Bune chu ngaji luchik ngaji naning har te ngaji tas pe ngira le chi ze nang ngaji naning mane zingwang mane sikpa kwa gala jigmet pa ngaji ta mane ghor ngata ten ze te nang ngaji ghara chik tam te hun be na chu pura khil ngira le pura zingbo gang song ngira pura kang sha te chen mo song chu te zingbo ghara chik tang te ne mane khora ngaji chumik yang te ze yok ne ngaja yang rak bura mang pot pa chu te sang ma mane yang chu se mane ngane sang mane chu ma te wa song chu The pinching sun, the freezing cold waves, and the gagging dust storms were unable to deter the patience and passion of 77-year-old Mr. Nofil and his team from the Lay Nutrition Project to bring the projects to completion and ultimately their sweats were paid off with smile and abundance in the villages. On seeing the revival of the past glory of farming in these villages of Ladakh, with extra bonus of yields and varieties, even the youth are optimistic of trying their fate in the sector of agriculture in Ladakh. <laughs> Importance of water is felt in the midst of droughts. Values of life is known when it goes waste. We believe that the replicable innovations of Mr. Tsewang Norfil, the wonderful execution of work by the Lay Nutrition Project, and the open hand funding from the Department 